And the city of Changsha, the capital of Hunan province, will host the third China Africa Economic and Trade Expo. Ahead of the expo, we profile business people, community leaders, and investors from Africa who have made China their home. CGTN Zomar Khan have caught up with Maxima Ogbana, the president of Nigerian Community of China. Talking business and in his element. Over the past two decades, Maximus Ogbana has called China his home trading fabrics and working in car sales both domestically and globally. Yet the Nigerian businessman believes that trade between Africa and China could still be elevated and improved from a banking standpoint. The business will go grow more. You see, my country is a very big country, you know, 200 million people, you know, 200 million. So, so and they base more on China. You know, my country produce less and import more. Yeah, most of the things we use are made in China. Uh, so I hope since we have that, you know, that urge, you know, importing from China, also we, I hope we can also make the, you know, the smoothness of money transaction easier and better. A major focus of the expo is introducing African products to the Chinese market. And that's something Ogbana has long considered as a new business venture. Despite some remaining trade barriers, He's convinced some products would find success locally in China. Edible things, you know, it's a bit difficult because, you know, lots of protocols, you know. If the things not edible, you know, it becomes easier. But the things to be eaten like wine, food, agricultural products, you know, it's a bit difficult to bring into China. Sometimes I privately bring to my house and I share with my family, my wife, my kids, they, they will eat, wow, it's such a nice thing. Why can't we import here? But then the, process, the procedure is not so all that easy, you know. Business isn't the main reason keeping Ogbana in South China. <laughs> Married to a local and a father of two, Ogbana is fully aware of stereotypes surrounding cultural differences. But in his eyes, none of that can falter a loving and caring home. Very good. Should we check? They call my own culture and um, the one that is very important, you know, she will take it. And I, I will also study her own culture and the ones that are important, okay? I will also go with that. So that's how, that's what I think is the most important thing. What's very important is for two people to understand each other yeah. and live together happily. Been living together for, for a long time, you know, 13 years or 14 years now. Like any father, Ogbana's motivations are his wife and two children. And that's perhaps exactly why China has, and always will be, his home. So now I'm happy they speak three different languages, okay? They speak English, they speak Mandarin, and they speak Chaozhou language, Chaoshan language, okay? And they understand Cantonese, okay? I consider China my home, and my, almost my first home, you know, because I'm married here, and um, I have my kids here. I've been here for 20 years. So if I don't like here, if I don't consider this here as a home, I would have left long ago. Omar Khan, CGTN in Zhaoqing, Guangdong province.